In the e-block today, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have announced their first TV project from their production company will be a documentary series about the Invictus Games. Prince Harry will appear on camera as the host of the show, focusing on a group of wounded warriors preparing for the 2022 contest. Now, the games were founded by the Prince in 2014, and he still serves as a patron. Meghan and Harry's Archerwell Productions has a deal with Netflix. Time now for the E-Block Time Warp. On this date, April 7th, 1970, Midnight Cowboy was named Best Picture at the Academy Awards. The film, starring John Voight and Dustin Hoffman, it also won Best Director and Best Adapted Screenplay. It is the only X-rated film to win those awards. The rating was changed to R for its re-release a year later. It has since been placed 36th on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 greatest American films of all time. Forbes just released their annual billionaires list. That's right, billions with a B. And Entertainment Tonight's Lauren Zima is here to break it all down. Lauren, that's a few commas. Hi, Kirk. So we're talking billionaires, and you expect people like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, right? Well, they are numbers one and two on the list. But this year, a few new celebrities are keeping up with what we're calling the three comma club. My smartest business decision has been going for it. According to Forbes, Kim Kardashian is a brand new billionaire. She boosted her net worth by selling 20% of her beauty line for $200 million. Kanye joins her on the list. The mag says West is worth $1.8 billion, though Bloomberg reports it's $6.6 .6 billion, mostly from his Yeezy line. Before their ongoing divorce, Kanye gifted Kim $1 million and co-ownership of the brand for Mother's Day back in 2018. You and Kylie are killing it. She got a little backlash, but it's not like that was handed to her. As for Kim's youngest sis, Kylie, who feuded with Forbes over her billionaire status, she's now missing from their list. The 23-year-old is now estimated to be worth $700 million. You know, my credit score was probably a two. I couldn't get a loan. I couldn't get a mortgage. A true rags-to-riches story, Tyler Perry is also a billionaire first-timer, a portion of his wealth coming from his Atlanta studio. Oh, my God. Gosh, it's so good. Other stars on the list, Oprah at 2.7 billion, Michael Jordan at 1.6, and Jay-Z at 1.4. And tune in to ET tonight for our sneak peek at Dolly Parton's new Netflix special with Garth Brooks, Miley Cyrus, and Pink. Don't miss it. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Lauren Zima. That is your Wednesday e-block. George is going to have more of your forecast, and we might have more of this guy. Calder, you're on TV. Look at it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.